so Graham King and his uh, his label yeah. his label and Tim Haddington is his partner and we did some really uh, interesting movies they were all wide releases we did the first Insidious that became like a, a you know it's now spawned like a whole universe <laughs> if you think about it, it was James Wan and that was a, a Toronto midnight film that afterwards the first Insidious scared everybody at midnight but then it kind of uh, ran out of steam a bit like somehow in the end people were, the buyers and the audience were walking out like well I don't know it just like it was scary but then we're and we ended up uh, giving them buying it giving them the money to re-edit the ending a bit and with with no guarantee of a theatrical release but then they did and we tested it and it went through the roof it was, and it was really and we also did a wonderful film one of my favorites called drive mm. which was uh you know Reppin's breakthrough film with ryan gosling yeah and uh you know it was it was it was great very controversial you know uh you know we we went wide and sort of uh there was a lot of elements of a fast and furious to that movie but it was a, definitely a Reppin, you know movie you know with with very little dialogue and you know, interesting tone and music, and it caught on and had just amazing sort of. Uh, Ryan was known, but this really put him, you know, out there.